kutiba alaykum al-kital wa huwa kurhul lakum wa asa an takrahu shay'a wa huwa khairul lakum wa asa an tuhibbu shay'a wa huwa sharrul lakum wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun fighting is now ordained for you fighting is now ordained for you and even if it is disliked by you because there may be things you may dislike and they will be good or better for you and they're going to be things which you like or which you prefer but they may be bad or harmful for you allah knows and you know not so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordaining the people to do jihad but i would also want to uh, throw some light on the other part of the verse which i say asan takrahu shay'a wa huwa khairul lakum wa asan tuhibbu shay'a wa huwa sharrul lakum allah says they're going to be things which you like which you want which you desire and this is a reality you know this is a reality that there are many things there are many things which allah orders which allah orders and which are the commandments of allah but the bondsmen but the bondsmen don't like doing all that like it is it is actually difficult for certain people to to get up in the morning early in the morning and to offer salah and then it is it is difficult for people to adopt certain people don't like adopting the islamic dress code there are people who do not like who find it difficult to cover their faces with the veil people don't like it there are people who find it difficult to leave to leave riba to leave sood to leave usury in their business dealings there is there are people who find it difficult to go to the mosque five times a day but this is what allah says they're going to be they're going to be deeds they're going to be things which you don't like which you going which you going to find difficult to do but they are going to be good for you they're going to be better for you hereafter and here also then there are things which we like there are things which once men may be wanting may be desiring may be enjoying but they are going to be harmful for them they are going to be they going to turn out bad for them like music like dancing like free mixing of women and males men and women free mixing like alcohol like gambling like adultery like usually these all things they seem very profitable they seem very attractive but like hoarding like like collecting wealth like showing off like talking loose these might seem very very enjoyable they may be very desires to do all these things but actually the repercussions the results they are socially psychologically emotionally economically every way they are disastrous they are harmful for here and for hereafter oh allah help us understand <coughs> help us understand help us comprehend these concepts and help us be obedient to allah and to his messenger and then in the last part of this verse allah says what i would recite the verse again qul mata'u dunya qalil tell them that the enjoyment of this world is little the enjoyment of this world is little and what wal akhiratu khairul liman ittaqa and the hereafter is better for he who fears allah this world the life here this worldly life is actually is actually very little as compared to the life here after and hereafter is is better for the person who does what who does taqwa inshallah these two things need a little bit of elaboration and i think we are we are running short of time and if i start discussing these two topics the importance of the world 
or of the life hereafter and the importance of fearing Allah, then I shall, I think we shall exceed our time limit. And I think we shall, I, I would want to postpone this to our discussion of tomorrow. And then in the end, obviously, I would like to invite you tomorrow because I will be starting with this last part of verse number 77 of Surah Nisa, where I shall be talking about the importance of the life of hereafter and of the fee importance and the merits of and the excellence of the fear of Allah and Taqwa. Rabbana la, Rabbana la tuzih qulubana ba'da is khadaytana wa hablana min ladunka rahma innaka antul wahab. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastakbiruka wa natubu alayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ameen summa ameen. I again want to invite all of you and would request all of you to invite all your relatives and your friends and your cousins around you to join our session of tomorrow where I will be talking about the narration of the importance of the life hereafter, the merits of the fear of Allah and then we shall be talking about, we shall be narrating about death and most probably if we have time we shall also be talking about the torments and the narration of the grave inshallah. Tala tomorrow. Fi amanillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.